Today we're going to be tying a UV damsel pattern, a highly effective lake uh, pattern here. Um, starting with a 2488 uh, hook, and I've got a medium tires bead in the silver lined red. My thread today is going to be 150 denier Lagerton Extra Strong. Really good thread. If you haven't had the pleasure of working with it, by all means check it out. I'm going to make a thread base wrap all the way down to above the barb. The next thing I'm going to do is go to a blood quill here. Um, I like the plumier stuff here. It adds a little bit more mass to the, the, the tail section. So what I do usually is just pull off a good size clump right off the stem. Use just a little bit of spit. I didn't, don't think I got quite enough there, so I'll, I'll grab just a couple more pieces. this tail to be you know a real exaggerated piece that's going to give you a lot of, of movement so this this tail section is going to be approximately an inch long no problem with fish eating that short no now when they eat most of these bugs I find that they suck the whole thing in and ask questions kind of later nice little tail there Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some UV light olive ice dub. And again, we can change the colors up here a little bit if you want to, uh, to match the insects that you have at your lake. Damsels are one of those things that come in a lot of different colors, so always pays to pay attention when you're on the water and kind of determine what colors they're feeding on best. We've got a little bit of a taper from small to back, uh, small to big in the front. I've got a American speckled henback in olive. Really cool stuff. Great uh, segmentation to the coloration to add segmentation look to it. Prepare this in classic wet fly manner, grabbing it by the tip. And tie that in directly behind the glass bead. Take my pliers, go ahead and grab onto the stem there. Just going to make a wrap or two of this. Just kind of get those a little bit out of the way there. Flared just a teeny tiny bit as well, and we're going to get good movements, movement with the fly. Take our whip finisher. And there you have the UV damselfly, one of my favorites. Hope it's one of yours too.